there, wonderful artist. My name is Gabby, and welcome to Radiant Art Inspirations. In today's class, we're going to show you, show you. We are going to show you a very easy and on-the-job reindeers. During the holiday season, reindeers are definitely a big hit. They are the cutest thing on everyone that wears it, and they can be either very easy or kind of like, I don't really want to touch it, and I'm scared. So. It, there's such a variety, there's such a range, every artist has their own distinct style on it, and we are going to show you a very fast, but also just a perfect one for any design during the holidays. We are gonna go from this to this. Let's get started. These are the supplies you're going to be using for this adorable reindeer. First with a sponge, load with white and pearl white to create the muzzle make cute little funny faces, sponge the bridge of the nose, the eyelids, and you're also going to be sponging the inside of the ear as well. So you're going to have your base down and it looks kind of weird so far. A lot of the times when sponging with a prime white, it can begin to crack over time and sometimes it does require a lot more layers to get a more opaque look when you're sponging, if that makes sense. Well, if you mix pearl white with prime white on a sponge, you will get a smoother look when you're sponging on the face and there's a lower tendency that it will crack throughout the day or the event or whatever. So that's kind of like our secret tip trick thing that is very helpful. I hope that explanation was helpful. Now with a number four brush, load in red to start adding those little holly berries on the forehead. Now this step, this little detail is optional. You don't have to do this if time crunched, but for this design, it's really cute. Don't forget to add red glitter while the paint is still wet. And while you're still using red, might as well paint up the nose as well. And then there you go, add some more glitter, keep it real cute and done, right? Then with an angle brush, load in your green split cake to add three leaves below the berries. These leaves that we're doing are like basic leaves because holly won't fit in the middle of my eyebrows. So we kept them very simple. Then with a three quarter inch angle brush, add that little brown piece just like how it is here in between the holly and the inside of the ears. And then with one stroke, just swoosh up to do the outside of the ears. It's very simple, just bring it up, don't think too much about it. And then with the edge of the brush that's loaded in the darkest color, you're going to outline it. This is like a step faster than getting another brush to outline. It's kind of like a, a cheat and I'm lazy so it works great for me. But if you want to use another brush, you definitely can. And you're gonna do the same technique between the eyebrow and the corner of the eye while you're still on the brush. And then from the corner of the eye into the cheek, kind of bring it in a half way. You can do a full unicorn, uh, not unicorn, a uh, reindeer face if you want. I said unicorn because this is very similar to the unicorn tutorial. And then sponging with your split cake, slightly sponge the brown halfway through, and then you're gonna sponge the rest in gold. Gold is a really nice color to add to your reindeer because it's kind of like an instant highlight, like when what highlight is makeup, it's pretty similar. And then sponging in some pink inside of the ears and on the inside of the cheeks as well. Uh, this step is optional depending on who you're painting it on, but I think it looks great. Don't forget to add some glitter where all the pink is to really make those cheeks pop and be like, oh, they're so cute. And then with any brush that you have, um, draw the inside line muzzle thing like how it is here. Make sure that that triangle on the inside is very small and then do a very simple muzzle. There's nothing complicated, there's no extra lines or anything, it's just a shape. And then draw lines inside of your ears. Don't forget to add some adorable eyelashes if you like, either in black or brown. Either color is fine. And then adding this kind of line thing that kind of follows the eyebrow and comes down. I'm not too sure what it's called, but it's very reindeer-esque, so it seemed very appropriate. And then with the split cake, load with a number four brush and the darkest brown to add antlers. Four little 
teardrops inside looked appropriate between three and four. More than that, it looks more like branches and not like antlers, so just make sure about that. And then add some beautiful, nice, round, white dots. And then, of course, if you have extra time, to add some snowing details with the same brush in white. As you can see here, it's very sparse, but just enough to look like snow has just settled on it. And this design is practically done almost now just adding a few highlights to the design because as we all know highlights are so awesome to add to every single one of our designs and then adding some lipstick if you like such as red because that's a very festive color and then now we are using vivid glitter i love vivid glitter because you can apply it directly onto the paint and it does not smudge so we're using green and red here is the finished look. It's so easy. It's very clean, very soft. It doesn't overpower the face, but you know exactly what it is. Thank you so much for watching us through. Now we're going to show you this exact same look on the practice board. for everyone that subscribed that likes and comments on these videos it really really means a lot to us it's kind of like a little gift that you give us you're like oh yeah there's a little gift of kindness and i'm like stop please that's so nice so we really 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 do want to thank you and if you haven't subscribed join our beautiful amazing family and on our social media such as writing our inspirations please tag us at share our ai when any designs inspire you from our channel and we would love to share it on our story highlights if you like these designs and you want step by steps we also have that on our instagram as well where you can kind of keep it on your phone have it saved it's very easy access we're just watching like a whole i don't know several minute video on how to do it you just have the pictures and it's so much easier i understand and i got you i think that's it christmas is almost here so enjoy it with cookies and blankets, and I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye!